The milk tea. This is your first time. I had this before in Japan, but I never been. I know you never been to Japan. What's going on everybody? Welcome to another special episode of Fung Bros Food and we are gonna be continuing our food court series. We had to hit up one of the most famous supermarkets in the country, the freshly prepared deli Ooh. section at Mitsua. Oh, oh, almost. Mitsua is America's favorite Japanese supermarket chain. We are going to be trying their hot food section. That we're not talking about the nah, food court. we're talking about the deli. Yeah, I go to Mitsua to get the snacks though. Mitsua, let's, let's go. go. Yo everybody, thank you so much for clicking on that video, but real quick, I gotta give a big shout out to our sponsor, Honey. Honey is a free browser extension that's super easy to use, it's super quick, it helps you find promo and discount codes automatically while you're shopping online. It works on tons of sites, I've used it before, but you know what, more on that later. Enjoy this video. Now at Mitsua, they have so much more sushi than this. Really traditional sushi, the wasabi will already be on the rice. Yeah, the nigiri, nigiri combo. So $16 on the nigiri combo. Mm -hmm. I'd say it was it was pretty cool though. Yeah. Like I, I enjoyed my salmon rope. I think the seafood, you can tell that the seafood is fresh and it tastes good. Yeah. The only thing I feel like the rice was kind of hard. I give it a four out of five. I was gonna give it a four out of five too. Did not blow me away, but is it a little bit better than all the other grocery store sushi? Absolutely. I'm gonna go with uh, 3.5 out of five. Now we on to the snacks. Mitsua, their grab and go section is great for people at work who need to get back to work. If you wanna provide a lot of Japanese food for a party really quickly, this is great. 3.99 takoyakis. Takoyakis, if you guys know, they're the uh, they're octopus balls. Yeah. Grab, grab and go, go takoyaki. takoyaki. It is a little soggy, but like I said, it's probably because of sitting, but flavor. No, it blew me away. <laughs> I can't lie, this is good. Oh man, I was this sounds good. Yo, one with the uh, extra mayo and wow. bonito flakes and seaweed on it. Wow, you got the bonito flakes, the, yeah. you got bonito dust on that. They did a good job of making sure there was like a piece of octopus in the, in the middle of everybody. Yeah. Sure. I'm gonna give that four out of five. All right. Easy. Just because my expectations for grab and go takoyaki was so low. Yeah. I was gonna say 4.5, but I, I'm gonna reel it back to four. I'm gonna stay at four. I'm gonna stay four, at four. Four, four is solid. This is the Tori Karage, AKA the JFC, AKA the Japanese fried chicken, coming in at $3.35. Man, <laughs> this is the thing about you get to go. I'm not gonna lie. There's no sauce. Tori, Tori Karage. Karage. For, that, for it being cold and no f sauce, and for it to still taste that good, it's pretty good. Then you know it's good. I say okay. 3.5 out of five. Like, imagine if it was just a little bit warmer. Man. Man. If it had a sauce, obviously that came packaged within the package. Yeah. For easy four out of five, but yeah. I think 3.5 yeah, out of five. I think three point five be, um because minus the sauce pack, and just that it's just difficult to do this style. Yeah. Well, here we got the teriyaki ginger sauce wings. Three ninety six. Four dollars for half five wings. Teriyaki ginger. Let's do this. You know, these wings are not fried, guys. These are air fried with a little bit of oil. You ain't Chinese or Asian if you don't eat in your Wings clean. I give it a four. For me, I give it a four, man. That flavor was banging. Now, I'm just judging it off the flavor and how it wasn't dried out. Japanese. You hit another wing. Wow. Another wing. How can wing. you say three, five? You got to go you. four. Ah, I got no. four. I got four. Now, see, you going to grab the last wing? Yeah. yeah. You better give that wing a four out of five, boy. You better give that a four out of five. Yeah. And you eating it with chopsticks. That's funny. <laughs> how you eating it like that? It was so good that we gotta take a drink break. Everybody drink it. Yo, they got cold brew green tea matcha? Uh, yeah. That's not you, bro. I gotta go with clear milk tea. The Japanese milk tea, that's clear. And then I got you the clear lemon iced tea. So I'm mixing it, Al. I don't see it mixing. <laughs> All right, it's guys. legit clear. All right, guys, I got a Mitsuya, not Mitsua. Yeah, I thought it was Mitsua. Mitsuya cider, zero calories. Wow. But in Japan, they go, kanpai. 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 It tastes like a watered down milk tea. But it does taste like milk tea. This but cold brew green tea matcha is really smooth. Pour me up a Yo, I'm gonna foam take bowl of it, David. Woo! No sounds, no, no, there's no foam. There's no foam. No foam. No foam. No foam. No foam. Guys, I'm gonna drink this like a, like it's some miso soup. <laughs> uh, just like the Asia, the Asia, the Asia tea commercial. You know, we watch it. It is. <sighs> green tea. Cider was good, so it's pretty much like a diet cider. All right, going in on the lemon iced tea. 
It has a lot of lemon iced tea flavor. I think the milk tea tastes more close to a milk tea. All right, guys, we gotta go and hit up our first emoji that we're eating. It is the baked sweet potato. Oh. And if you guys know that there is a sweet potato emoji. And it's purple. And it's, it looks just like this. Yaki Imo. 350 for oh, these two shit, pieces. For the yaki emo for the emoji. Look at this. So, this is that same color of the emoji. Yeah, emojis actually were designed by Japanese designers. Yo, I used to use the Japanese emoticons though. Because remember, they had the really advanced smileys. Oh, you mean the ones that you type out? Yeah, yeah that, the that ones look that like are... people. This is the yaki emo sweet potato. It was very soft. I don't know if I can really rank a sweet potato that high, to be honest. I get a 3.5 out of 5. I personally don't really like it. Okay. I'm gonna give it a 2.5 out of 5. I just All think right. it's too mushy. But this with vanilla fire. ice cream would be fire. Bro. Yeah. I'm going to give it a 3. All right, here we got the macaroni salad coming in at $3 here. Look at how big those macaronis are. Easy to eat though. Yeah. Not too heavy. Imitation crab, good. Huge macaronis. I mean, humongous. Tubes. Look at these tubes. This mac salad was a good accompaniment, but it wasn't strong enough to stand on its own. I give it a, a 3 out of 5. 3 out of 5? Uh, I give it a 3.5 out of 5. I give that. A 3.5 out of 5. Here we got the fried tempura assortment, $6.99. Dog, this is an emoji too. Oh, that is, that Nothing is. emoji? Yup. Mmm. Let me try this. this uh... Oh! That's good. Yeah? That's good. Try that. Try it, please. That's the best piece of them all. The tempura, I give it a 3 out of 5. Yeah, three I give it a 5. Solid. I give the tempura 3.5 out of 5 just because the pumpkin slice was nice. Is that pumpkin? That's a... Uh... It's not pumpkin, it's some type of squash, I forgot. It's called, Squ it's called a three out of five, that's what it's called, huh? <laughs> oh, it's pumpkin! It's pumpkin, yeah. It is pumpkin. Japanese pumpkin. And then you have steamed rice with red beans at up $3.89, about $4. I believe these are azuki beans. These are the red beans and rice. This is not like the Spanish red beans and rice. This is not what Sir mix -a -Lot was it's talking like about. It's steamed rice. rice. The rice by itself is taste is pretty good. Okay. I gave it a, a 2.5 out of 5. I gave it I wasn't 2 feeling. 5 out of I mean. I thought you said you were feeling it. I was feeling the rice just surprisingly though. But like, you know, the red beans doesn't really add much to it. Egg salad sandwich for $5.99. I'm not gonna lie, that's kind of expensive. Shoo! Oh man, imagine you dropped this. Uh, <laughs> light, clean, polished. I wish it had more egg whites than egg yolk. Yeah. I thought the mayo was very neutral. I wish it had just a little bit more like pepper sprinkled into it. I had to give it a 2.5. Whoa! $5.99? I don't think the taste was there. I'll give it a little bump, a three out of five. The only con for me is I felt like there was too much uh, egg yolk. Giving it a three. I actually enjoyed it, but I acknowledge that it could have had more flavor. Pretty good. But maybe not worth the money. Here we have the udon noodles with tempura, $5.99. All this soup is gelatin at the bottom. Ooh. So you don't pour any soup into it. You just microwave it. It all melts into it. And then we'll do the curry udon. This is the same way. It was a solid thing at oh, first. Geez. This looks tasty. $5.99 for this one. All right. While you guys do this, I will try the miso. I'm a big fan of miso soup right here. Just pour it all over yourself. They give you the create your own miso. Basically, they have all these sides and ingredients on the side that you put into the miso soup. I get the miso three out of five, man. I don't miso I say otherwise. But 3.5 is pretty high. Three out of five. I give it a 2.5. I said three out of five. Yeah. If you I ask said, me. I would you why, why buy 2.5 out of it? It was very bland. Not but a it had a lot of toppings though. That's a good part. I like the customization where you can put a hell of toppings. <laughs> Alright, let's try this udon. I don't know. I like it. Maybe because I'm a more of the instant noodle, noodle guy. guy. You guys want to know a fun fact about udon? Is that originally one, it comes from China a long time ago, and two, it was meant for royalty. Only China? rich people could eat udon. I could see when it was warm, a three out of five, especially for somebody who just wants noodle soup for lunch. Yeah, 3.5 is good for me. I gotta say, it wasn't fresh udon, so it was sitting there for a minute. It tasted pretty good. All right, this one I think is a little more promising, guys. This is the curry udon with beef and onions. 3.5, the only thing keeping it from a four is a little too sweet. Three out of five, I take the, the tempura over the... <coughs> wow! I think it's a little too sweet and salty. 3.5 on the curry udon. Okay. You know would be crazy? But you could dip that egg salad sandwich into the curry udon. Do it! The mixologist. Ah! Mixologist. <laughs> it was obviously a little bit better than the egg salad. I don't want to say it's like a five out of five. But we were down to our last six dishes. Okay. Yeah. They're all different, but they're all the same. If you really think about this, what is different about the ingredients in a bento or a bowl than the onigiri? It's the form. Onigiris are just wrapped with seaweed. Oh, don't peel it, bro. Oh, there is a one. process to the onigiri. Yeah, yeah, I right. always mess You're it up, right. though. Y'all gotta teach me. Right. I always right. mess watch it up. This, David, watch David, this, you do it first. Watch this. Pull this tab. I've been messing this up. 
I've been messing this okay, up. Okay, so you split it down the, the middle. middle. The middle. Boom! Okay? Step one. And what? Step oh, two. Okay, okay, okay. 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 Yeah, 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 Step yeah. Step yeah. three. Oh, oh, up. oh. oh. Uh, uh, onigiri is always shaped in a triangle or a ball. I remember uh, I remember messing these up. So ah, John. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try it. I'll try it. Yo, man, somebody, are we doing this wrong? We're doing this wrong. Nah, I didn't do it right either. Oh. <laughs> no! The kelp, the cow, cow, cow. <laughs> 199 onigiris. The messed up version. The that's sauce, interesting. The sauce is good. If you get a bite um, in the middle that's heavy on spicy mayo, it's a good bite. I'd say the salmon one is a little dry. <laughs> the only one I do like, the tuna. The spicy tuna, I give it a three out of five. For the kelp, okay. I give it a two out of five, just for the kelp. Um, I would say for the salmon one, because it's a little bit dry, I would give it a 2.5 out of five. This is chicken katsu. At $5.99. The broiled eel, aka the unagi rice bowl here for $4.99. This is unagi head. This is the best part of the eel. $8.99 for the makunochi bento. Look at the colors. Look, they have tamago, they have the fish cake, they have seaweed, they have preserved cucumber, sesame, spinach, the radish rice. The green grass is typically placed there to separate the fish from transferring flavors to any other type of food. I will say though, I could see it being a label for seafood just because how is this separating anything? Yeah, I know. Yeah, how is this separate? This, this is not functional. Grass. This has no functional piece. I get it in sushi, actually. Sushi, I think it makes sense. Chicken is dry. I'm not a fan of katsu sauce, actually. Very authentic. I thought the salmon bento tasted very healthy. 3.5, 2.5, 2.5. You know what? Three. You know what? Two, I'm making, two, a, stand. Five, three. I'm making yeah. a stand for my veggies, my veggie booze, my veggie taboos. Yeah, if you like veggie booze, you get this, all right? <laughs> 3.5, 2.5 5 out of 5. <laughs> And three. I actually got to say, it was still the sushi. Say it was the chicken wing. It was chicken wing. Y'all already know I'm going to say the chicken wing. I'm going to say the chicken wing. Your chicken wing. The chicken wing, wing. Your chicken chicken wing. wing. <laughs> the chicken wing, you know, the chicken wing. But I think a, a close second would be the takoyaki. I think the takoyaki was very surprising to me. I liked the pur takoyaki yeah, and the bento box. Obviously, I can't put it in my favorites. Yeah. But I got to put a little asterisk by it. Was the karage. The sweet potato. The sweet potato. <laughs> the sweet potato. <laughs> I call it the sleeper potato. Oftentimes we think of Japanese food as so expensive, but it's really nice to have what regular people eat. Is it funny? Lately of the Fung Rose food court videos that we've been doing, after this meal, you don't really feel too heavy. This is this Japanese food, the, food guys. Yeah, Japanese food is very light. I kind of want to go back to Japan. Yeah, now. it makes me want to go back to yeah. Japan. It's it makes lit. me want to go to Japan. Man, you should go to Japan. We should go to Japan. Japan. Let's go. Japan is fun, I'm man. ready. Guys, if there's any Japanese sponsors out there, Mitsuo, if you want to sponsor this. I'm um, trying to go now. Sometimes going to a Japanese restaurant is so daunting and so expensive and it's so formal and you want to feel like you act a certain way. Sometimes you just need that regular home style Japanese food. Spots like Mitsuo, they are keeping Japanese Japanese culture accessible and for the masses. Some people don't like yeah. dealing with the formality. They, say, they feel like it's so many layers. And maybe in a society where formality seem to be vanishing, maybe we need to bring it back. More respect. DJ, I want to bring, bring it back. I want to see what kind of creative or inventive drinks or snacks like they can come up with next. Because you know what I mean? Clear milk tea, man, I would have never thought. You know what I noticed in Japan? When they build the bathrooms, they oftentimes have the hand dryer plugged into the wall. They rely on the trust in the society yeah. that nobody's gonna mess with the hand yeah. dryer. Yeah, yeah, no one's gonna but, screw it up. And guess what? It just works. In America, you've gotta build the outlet behind the unit and like the additional expenditures, and it's not necessarily fully efficient. There is a level of trust and buy-in that people have in Japan that allows the society to be that way. Goes to show you how deep Japanese food can be. Yeah. Because just based off the grab and go, it, we'd turn into a discussion about the pros and cons of the cards you're dealt. Wow. All right, you guys, please let us know in the comments section below. One, what is your favorite Japanese grab-and-go item? Number two, make sure you let us know another spot that you would like us to try out the food court or deli section from. All right, everybody, shout out to Nelson Chan. This is David and Andrew from the Fung Bros, man. And until next time, everybody, we out. Peace. Peace. Yo, everybody, thank you so much for watching that video. And again, if you guys have not tried out Honey, you need to check it out. Today, it is free. It's a free browser extension that goes on your Safari, Firefox, Chrome, any of those things. And then basically, it will find any promo code out there for you. I mean, there's been times when I was about to check out in my car and then the little Honey notification pops up and was like, hey, 
do you want to use these codes and get 15% off? And yes, yes, I did. So literally, it can save you money when you least expect it. I mean, it works on over 37,000 websites. I'm talking about that includes East Bay, Nordstrom, Adidas.com, Nike.com, New Egg, even Amazon. It even finds codes for Amazon. So click on this link down below, download that extension, and just test it out. I swear you will start to see that there were so many promo codes you did not even know about. There was a time, pre-Honey, where you actually had to search for promo codes yourself and then input them uh, uh, individually just to be disappointed and find out that they're like expired or they never worked. Thanks for watching that video. Till next time, I'm out. Peace. Y'all ain't ready for this? Oh! 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 Oh!